Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shack. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group, and they have the big shell under complete control. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst-case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant's struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. 
Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. And here we go. The plant section of MGS2. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I thought I'd let that intro just play out. I I don't know. It's it's not too long, but it always reminded me. Uh, well, this whole section of the game really reminds me of one of my favorite films of all time, The Rock. Which, in itself, is basically a Metal Gear movie. As good a one as we're ever going to get, probably. Um, so yeah, we're playing as Snake, a.k.a. Raiden, and uh, he certainly doesn't sound like Snake. And my god, can you imagine? I mean, back in the day, no one had a clue, right? The reveal that's about to happen soon. I don't think anyone did have a clue. I mean, I followed the game's uh, production as closely as I could, you know, through magazines and stuff. And being back then, the internet wasn't quite what it is today. Uh, how do I swim? And keeping this a secret, I, I just don't think nowadays this could happen. Someone would know before the game came out. Your feet wet. These are the basic controls oh good, tell me the controls because I do need to know. The water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession. Alright, let's punch button, so that's square, isn't it? Oh, no, it is not square, it is circle. Um, so yeah, if you swim down here, grab some thermal goggles. If he would pick them up, did we just... I suppose... I guess we just got them. Um, did we? Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. So, whoa, yeah. Predator mode engage. Not actually needed right now. But that can be easily missed, I guess. Um, always thought this guy's swim's really weird. And yes, I mean, this guy's called Raiden. Um, a lot of people hate him. I don't mind him as much as I kind of understand what they were going for with his character, but it it was still a bit of a shock. The fact that, for most of the game, we are not playing as the snake. And uh, to this day, I think a lot of people have uh, have issues with that, but, like I say, I don't mind it as much. Even even when I first found out, I was kind of bummed, but I, I, didn't, I didn't cry about it, you know what I mean? I was just too happy to be playing another Metal Gear game. Um, right, so we need to... Is there anything else around here? I'm not actually... Oh, I think we can crawl into these vents and grab something. There's a bunch of fucking bugs, by the way, that we can squish. Just another awesome little detail. Um, our vision is kind of impaired right now, though. This uh, skull helmet is not the best for seeing where the fuck we're going. A ration! Awesome! And the problem is, I think, if you have your rations equipped and you crawl around in the bugs, the bugs can latch onto your ration and I think they can eat it. Or something happens to it. I don't know. It's, it's been a while. Uh, but yes, welcome back to MGS2. I'm sorry it's been a while because, well, I wanted to make sure I had a nice comfy setup for this. And if you've seen my photos on Facebook and Twitter, you'll have seen... I have got a nice new chair for recording my consoles, and, uh, well, I should be able to record for a lot longer. In in relative comfort. And, my god, this chair is comfy. Holy shit. But anyway, enough gloating about my new... toys. Oh, hello. What happened to that dude? Hmm. So this chap, Raiden, is a member of Foxhound, apparently. 
Colonel, I've sighted an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They've become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Hmm. So, what the hell's going on? Because we know Gulukovic died on the tanker. If this is his men, or if these are his men, sorry, then uh, what the hell's going on? We don't really know, and you're not supposed to at this point. It's kind of like, oh, okay, so this place was built to clean up the tanker, and the presidents are hostage, and just all sorts of shit going on. Very reminiscent to the beginning of MGS1, though, isn't it? Approaching the uh, the base by water and... Oh. I recognize that ass and mullet anywhere. What the hell? Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? <laughs> oh god. Nerd. That line. Node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions... Yeah, 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 we know all about the radio. Okay, this is just tutorial stuff. I, I'm not going to listen to every single thing the Colonel says. And by the way, isn't it nice to have Roy Campbell back? In the codec? Absolutely. Why is he working with this guy? What is going on? We don't know. These guys are out cold, thanks to... Yes, I know, Colonel. I don't have a gun yet. Uh, Do you not get a gun at, in normal difficulty? Maybe not. Well, at this point, we will get a gun eventually. I mean, goddamn. We just gotta find one. Uh, okay, then. Well, we'll activate the node. This always weirded me out. I, I kind of never understood why this happens. And I thought maybe just because he's wet still, he's in his wet suit and he's touching a an electronic device that that happens. I, I still don't really know to this day because it never happens again. So that's my best guess. Uh, we can actually select our code name. So I guess I'll just, I don't know. Put mage. That is kind of my name. It is kind of a code name if you think about it. It's not a very badass one, but hey ho. Uh, nationality UK. I'm not going to bother putting my birthday. I'm an old bastard. Put it that way. Uh, we got the options here. I don't know why it asks you again, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. Uh, Back to title screen. I've done that a few times. Oh my god, that is so annoying. Exit. Whew. Oh, Colonel, again. Good work, Ryden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the. I know how the radar works, Colonel. Okay. Radar isn't affected by the weather, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Mei Ling's baby, isn't it? So, we now have access to... Oh, seriously? I had... Oh, guys, we've missed out on the introduction of Rose. Fucking Rose. We're not going to get to hear her wonderful voice just yet. 
Jack, can you hear me? Oh, shit, I shouldn't have skipped this. So, Rose... I mean, I would imitate her voice, but it's kind of... No. Uh, so, yeah. What the hell's going on, Colonel? Who is this? She's the mission analyst overseeing the data, so she's going to be the person you call to save. And uh, she's basically Jack's girlfriend. So that, you know, no conflict of interest there or anything. So yeah, according to the files, she knows you better than anyone else, yada yada yada. Technical staff, uh, da, 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 da. Jack doesn't like it. And that's, yeah, Raiden's real name, because Rose doesn't like using code names, because she's fucking useless. Um, and all, all these uh, VR training performance things that they're on about, the 300 missions he said he'd done, I think that is really referring to Metal Gear Solid Special Missions on the PS1, which was awesome, by the way. Uh, although I remember buying it thinking it was like MGS like 2, and there would be a story to it, but there wasn't. But it was still a great game. Uh, so read all this stuff if you want, guys. I'm sorry I skipped it. It's a shame you can't turn the voices back on and resume, but... Um, yeah, so there you go. We're stuck with her, whether we like it or not. Ah, oh, Rose. Rose, Rose, Rose. If anyone's watched my previous Let's Plays on this, you'll you'll know my feelings on Rose. So, she's technically not a part of the mission control team. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, 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 yada. Rose sucks. I hate her. She's so annoying. But we'll see, we'll see that soon enough. You're free to do what you see fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so annoyed I skipped this voice acting. Ugh. Makes my job so much easier when I don't have to read shit. Yeah, so... Call him Raiden, goddammit. Which she fucking won't do. Alright, so that's a frequency. The same as Mei Ling's, the same as Otacon's. There we go. Oh, and here we go, the fucking question of the day. Do you know what day tomorrow is? April 30th. And Jack's like, well, well what, is there anything special about it? And, and she's like, I don't know, is there? She's like, just fucking tell him, okay? Uh... And, <laughs> I don't know, Rose and Jack, by the way, Titan Titanic anyone, this line in particular... I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. I'll never let you go. But we've done it. We got through that. And now we need to fucking hide because these pricks are about to wake up. And I think I usually just hide here. Oh my god, Colonel! I've just spoken to you! Leave me be! Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find there we go. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. Hiding until an elevator comes down. This isn't familiar at all. Uh, yeah, so we just heard Rose there for the first time. I'm under enemy fire. The Stay the I hope we're safe here. I think we are. I don't think they actually come round here. They don't look very far. Oh, shit. But, I mean, technically they're not under enemy fire. They got knocked out. Oh, wow. That came down so fast. Yes, we have the caution here. Once that depletes, then they go back to the normal routines. I'm just trying to... Oh, shibbity dibbity. Is he going to bugger off now? Alright, he's gone to check out where we just surfaced. So hopefully we'll get past this dude easily enough. Get in the lift. There we go. Not a problem. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be THE Solid Snake. 
He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. He didn't blow it up. Could he have survived? Not a chance. I beg to differ. You don't kill Solid Snake that easily. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the President? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? Come on, Ryden, you know the layout of this place. You've been briefed, surely. The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. I love this place. I love the big shell. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. Right, so on every strut that you go to, you're going to have to find a node. Or in every... Diff well, in... It is pretty much strut by strut, I guess. Uh, you have to find a node before you can access the radar. So at the moment, we're completely blind. We have no way of knowing the enemy positions unless we, you know, actually use our eyes the old-fashioned way. Uh, but what a lovely morning it is on the big shell. And this game, one of the many things I love about it, is it all takes place during one day, and as the game progresses, you can tell because the, the time of day changes, and I don't know, I, I've always liked that. But man, the big shell. Yeah, we've just, oh, we don't have an M9 yet. Where the fuck do you find an M9? I can't remember. Oh, bugger. Anyway, let's, um, oh yeah, you can cartwheel. He's very agile, he's riding. And uh, he's got lovely, luscious, long locks of hair. Which, uh, yeah, you either hate it or hate it, I guess. <laughs> got ourselves a bandage, though, so maybe we can, I don't know, suffocate a guard if we find one. Bunch of fucking seagulls. And yes, our uh, punch and kick thing is very, very, I don't know. don't know what the word for it is, really. Theatrical, dramatic. But anyway, let's um as, as you can see, th there is some seagull shit on the floor. Whoa! <laughs> I love it. Let's see what happens if we phone the colonel when we do it. Come on. That area is caked with seagull droppings. No shit. Ha! Be careful. No shit. But there is shit. There's lots of shit. Love it. Um, if you look up in the sky for too long. Oh, gross! Come on, Colonel. You're killing the momentum. No, comment on the fact that I've got seagull shit in my eye. Not on the bloody rations. I don't care. Uh, anyway, you know what we're going to do? We're going to phone Rose. We'll save, just to show this off. What's up, Jack? What's up, Jack? Nothing. I'm gonna save, though. I'm not going to overwrite my data in case this recording session has fucked up. Which my sessions tend to do. Especially when I'm starting something fresh. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough? <sighs> then we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. 
the leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. She is Rose. God damn Rose. Just fucking tell him, alright? It's obvious it's like an anniversary or something, so I'm, it's kind of stupid that, you know, Raiden doesn't think that that would be something, you know, he can't figure it out from that, but... Oh, man. Okay, so, we have to crawl through this little hole in the fence, I think. Yes, you're just going to tell me how to crawl under it, I know. Ooh. Can't ignore this one. Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <clears throat> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Good to know. Good to know we're, uh, we've got some sort of backing. Not much, though. But yeah, just big shell, man. I, I do love it. It's, um... Again, I'm going back to that making of Metal Gear Solid 2 DVD you got with the game. Uh, but Kojima, like, used Lego to design the levels. And you actually saw the models that he built in the DVD thing. So, obviously being, you know, about 10 years old and having lots of Lego, I decided I'd do the same. And I made my own version of the big shell and I was so proud of it I had my dad build a shelf in my room so I could display it proudly and I had that thing for ages I I made it quite intricate too like all the connecting bridges and you know to the best of my ability I didn't have all the Lego in the world but I was so proud of that thing I'll go check the roof I'll leave the first floor to you okay understood and I just thought it was so cool that an adult that makes video games had used Lego to sort of, you know, conceptualize the locations in the game. I, it's just crazy. There's the node. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? How? Against our wall <laughs> and hit the punch button. Got it. Come on, Raiden, you know how to make a noise. You can just go, hey! But yes, what we've got to try and do here, guys, is knock on the old wall. Now the problem the problem is I don't know when to do it. Oh, he heard me. There we go. The problem is gonna be getting back. So again, you get to change the options if you want. Go back to title screen, which we do not want to do. Exit. And we have a radar! Yay! Now, is there anything under this, um... Unit? Oh, there is. More ammo. For a gun I don't fucking have yet. Uh Now, I think... The, uh, there is a gun we could grab in strut F, which is... Out that exit that way. But the security's pretty tight in Strut F. You're not really supposed to go there just yet. And I don't know if I want to bother trying. Because we might find a gun sooner than that. I just can't remember. So we're just going to go with the story for now. We're going to go to Strut B, which is where the president was apparently sighted. After this dude turns around. There we go. Toodles. I think I did just miss a few lockers, actually. There might have been some items in them. Whoops. Oh, well. Right, our first connecting bridge, chaps. And this one is, from what I remember... Yep, two guys. This is actually... like I remember struggling with this bit.
Right and watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. You don't they say. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? <laughs> Not just hang over the railing, no. Hanging mode. Push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right. I'm giving it a try. I always thought Don't it was weird the grip gauge. that they used, um, like, the character model in stealth camo for those little tutorial things. Oh, I've done it again. Seriously, I hate that they, they hide important story stuff in the bloody codex. Oh, we're listening to, uh, I think it's Alpha Team or Bravo Team. Now, and some shit's going down. Yep. This is the Alpha team. Cover the president. Oh no, coming Alpha. Gunfire. We are under attack. This is crazy. Is that? Respond. Silence. Respond. Okay, right in the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. Do you like my recreation of that? I thought that was really good, actually. It was like you were there. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to... Right, from now on, I'm not going to skip any codex. If it's tutorial shit, we're just going to have to listen to it. Because I don't want to miss out on any more... You know, important story doobries. Right, so that guy on the right doesn't actually ever move, I don't think. So the way he's supposed to go is on the left. How they can't see me in this daylight, I don't know. Highly trained Russian mercenaries. Obviously not, uh, not that fucking sharp, are they? Alright, so you can turn around now, buddy. Fucking turn around. Oi! Go back the other way. Thanks. Not bad. Right, the floor is, um, is very noisy if you run across it, so we're just gonna hang. Just gonna hang out for a little bit, guys. Come hang with me. Got some hang time. And just keep on going. He shouldn't see you. Even though you would totally see the, the hands over the side, but whatever. Look at that shit. Raiden is freaking agile as hell. 